Hi, I'm Shane Thomas for Bath City Beat, and we're here at the Anton Art Center for the 37th Annual Student Showcase. This showcase features 27 different schools all over Macomb County and the creativity of their students. These types of opportunities are really important for students to sort of get a taste of what it's like to be an artist. Uh, these, it seems that there are not many opportunities for students in high school to show their work in a setting such as the Anton Art Center. Um, this type of gallery space can be very difficult for emerging artists to show their work in uh, because sometimes shows can be very competitive and students especially may not necessarily know yet how to enter a show outside of what you know their teachers are able to um, guide them through doing so. Um, by offering this opportunity to students, we're really able to give them a chance to show their work in a professional gallery space uh, near where they're living and going to school. At this year's annual student showcase, there are over 300 different art pieces by over 200 students from grades 7 to 12. At each grade level, there were awards such as Best of Grade for first, second, and third place, Best Portfolio, Best in Show, and art certificates to each exhibiting student, as well as a few others. We actually offer a number, of, I think we have first, second, and third place for every grade level. Then we also have a number of honorable mentions that are awarded at every grade level. We have the Ken Hoover Founders Prize, which is awarded to a particular work of art in each show. I think actually that might be the portfolio award, I'd have to double check to be sure. Um, and then we offer a best in show for one work uh, that's selected as the top. Uh, the top piece for the entire exhibit. There was no theme for the art you enter. You just need a canvas and a creative design. Displayed at this show were a wide assortment of fine crafts, original pieces of pottery, different forms of painting, and various drawing techniques, and even some sheet metal art. We don't have a specific theme. We do have some very basic requirements for how work should be presented because we need to be able to hang it on the walls and there's some standard guidelines in that sort of a respect. Um, but we don't restrict entries based on theme. We don't look for a particular media. We don't look for a particular topic or subject matter. It's really open to the students and teachers to decide what work they would like to include. Congratulations to all the students that were in this year's showcase. And good luck to the middle school students that are exhibiting their art in a showcase from April 28th to June 3rd. For Bath City Beat, I'm Shane Thomas.